that the nationwide road check campaign for the Virginia State Police has, has become an annual event. It's an annual event for us. It's also an annual event for, for our other state and local partners. And, and I want to acknowledge you here today. Uh, Fairfax County Police have joined us as well as the uh, Prince William County Police and Maryland State Police are here. Uh, it's very much a team effort and very much a partnership. And, and, you know, Steve's already mentioned it, but it couldn't happen at a more appropriate time for those of us here in this business, and particularly those of us here in Virginia, because it was just a week ago today. And families up and down the East Coast were just panic stricken, uh, wondering just uh, what had happened to their loved ones who were on the Sky Express bus that uh, ran off the road, overturned, landed on its top, just about 50 miles south of us here on 95 in Caroline County. Four women killed, 53 other passengers uh, injured uh, as a result of the crash. It was the worst kind of crash. It was the worst kind of crash in terms of the tragedy, but it was also the worst kind of crash in terms of it was very preventable. It was preventable because it was a fatigue driver that, uh, that should have taken himself out of service. Prevention, detection, deterrence, they're, they're really the, the, the three principles of the road check campaign. And, and that's exactly what law enforcement will be concentrating on during these upcoming series of, of roadside checks of, of commercial vehicles that uh, will be taking place. And all types of commercial vehicles, buses, trucks, tractor trailers, straight trucks. And, and whether you're riding in one of those vehicles or sharing the road with one of those vehicles, safety always has to be a priority, a core priority for all the drivers. Virginia has 62 state troopers and supervisors that are dedicated statewide to that sole purpose, to making commercial vehicles safe in our state. And they go undergo considerable training and certification processes to, to make sure that they're knowledgeable of the federal, state, and local rules that they, as they pertain to commercial vehicles. Last year, Virginia State Police, Motor Carrier Safety Compliance Troopers and Supervisors conducted more than 38,000 in-depth inspections of motor vehicles and drivers. Out of those, about 19% placed out of service, something just over 7,200 uh, vehicles that were in violation of safety or equipment or hazardous materials regulations. Unsafe vehicles, whether they're commercial vehicles or whether they're passenger vehicles, we have little tolerance for them today. And as we so tragically witnessed on last Tuesday, there, there are too many lives lost to the careless and the reckless actions and behaviors of some drivers. There's no room on our highways today with the volumes of traffic for equipment failures or fatigue drivers or for careless and reckless behaviors among our commercial vehicle drivers who are operating these multi-ton vehicles. 